Hello, and welcome to my channel, where I share with you the latest news and insights on the Iraqi dinar and its exchange rate. Today, I have some very interesting information to share with you, based on my conversation with a CBI committee member who is involved in the project to delete the zeros from the Iraqi currency. As you may know, the project to delete the zeros is a long-term plan that aims to simplify the Iraqi monetary system, reduce inflation, and enhance the value of the dinar. The project involves replacing the current banknotes, which have denominations of 50, 250, 500, 1000, 5000, 10000, and 25000 dinars, with new ones that have lower denominations of 1, 5, 10, 25, 50 and 100 dinars. The new banknotes will also have improved security features and design elements that reflect the Iraqi culture and history. The project has been delayed several times due to various political and security challenges, such as the formation of the government, the corruption scandals, the ISIS invasion, and the U.S. sanctions. However, according to my source, the project is now back on track and is expected to be completed soon. The main reason for the resumption of the project is the decline of the dollar against the dinar in the parallel market, which is the unofficial market where people buy and sell foreign currencies. The parallel market rate is different from the official CBI rate, which is fixed at 1,190 dinars per dollar. The parallel market rate reflects the supply and demand of the dollar in the Iraqi economy, and it is influenced by many factors, such as the oil prices, the trade balance the security situation, and the political relations. In the past few weeks, we have seen a significant drop in the parallel market rate of the dollar, from around 1,300 dinars per dollar to around 1,310 dinars per dollar. This means that the dinar is gaining strength and the dollar is losing value. This is good news for the Iraqi economy, as it reduces the inflation, increases the purchasing power, and encourages the use of the local currency. According to my source, this is exactly what the CBI was waiting for, as it indicates that the Iraqi economy is ready for the next steps in the currency reform process. The CBI has been working on several measures to reduce the demand for the dollar and increase the demand for the dinar, such as signing agreements with Iraq's trading partners and future trading partners to use their foreign currencies instead of the dollar in making trade payments. This is how Iraq used to do business before the sanctions and this will help to diversify the Iraqi foreign reserves and reduce the dependence on the dollar. My source also told me that in the coming months, we will witness a rapid decline in the parallel market rate of the dollar, until it reaches a level close to the official CBI rate of the dollar. At that point, the CBI will receive a green light from the U.S. to proceed with the project to delete the zeros. The U.S. has a major role in the Iraqi currency reform as it is the main source of the dollar supply and the main guarantor of the stability of the Iraqi financial system. The next step in the project, according to my source, is to change the program rate of the dinar, which is the rate that the CBI uses to manage the monetary policy in the exchange rate regime. The current program rate is 1,320 dinars per dollar and the CBI plans to reduce it to 1,000 dinars per dollar. This will be a significant increase in the value of the dinar, and it will prepare the ground for the introduction of the new bank notes. The CBI will then monitor the impact of the new program rate on the inflation and the economic activity for a period of time, and then, if all goes well, it will initiate the swap out of the old bank notes for the new ones. The swap out will be done gradually and systematically and the CBI will announce the details and the timeline of the process in advance. The old banknotes will remain legal tender until they are completely withdrawn from circulation. The final step in the project, according to my source, is the reinstatement of the dinar, which means the restoration of the dinar's international status and recognition. The reinstatement will allow the dinar to be freely convertible and traded in the global markets and it will enable the Iraqis to access the international banking and financial services. The reinstatement will also require a significant adjustment in the exchange rate of the dinar, as the CBI will have to align the dinar's value with its real market value, which is determined by the economic fundamentals and the market forces. 
The reinstatement of the dinar is the ultimate goal of the project to delete the zeros, and it is the most anticipated and exciting part of the process for the dinar investors and holders. However, my source did not give me any specific information or data about the reinstatement, as it is a highly sensitive and confidential matter that depends on many variables and conditions. The only thing that my source assured me is that the reinstatement is inevitable and imminent and that it will be a historic and glorious moment for Iraq and its people. So, this is the summary of my conversation with the CBI committee member, and I hope you found it informative and useful. I think this is very positive and encouraging news, and it shows that the project to delete the zeros is moving forward and is closer than ever to its completion. I believe that we are witnessing the final stages of the currency reform and that we will soon see the realization of our dreams and expectations. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more updates and insights on the Iraqi dinar and its exchange rate. Until next time, stay tuned and stay positive.